Today, I'm going to go over what the current diesel fuel supply shortage means to you. In case you don't know, several days ago, we were told that we only have 25 days left of diesel fuel in the United States of America. And the Biden administration is doing absolutely nothing to fix it. They don't care. The fake news media is not reporting on this, so I'm going to tell you exactly what it means to you. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to be discussing the ramifications of the current diesel fuel crisis in America. And it is a crisis. You may not have heard about it, but it's a serious crisis. And I'm going to talk about what it means to you. Yeah, if you're watching this and you're in the United States, it's going to affect you. So I'm going to read a piece by PJ Media. It's by Ryan Ledendecker. It's a really good piece. It hits home. He titled it, Biden's Diesel Fuel Crisis Worsens. Major Fuel Company Issues New Warning. Okay. So he writes that the impending diesel fuel supply shortage that threatens to take the United States to the brink of collapse is no joke, folks. If the Biden administration doesn't begin to take the situation a bit more seriously. President Joe Biden, who can barely string together a coherent sentence, hasn't done jack squat to address the looming crisis other than have members of his administration keep a close watch on it, offering virtually nothing in the way of support or comfort to the millions of Americans who will be affected in unspeakable ways this winter, and all because of this administration's utter lack of concern. Even after a bombshell alert was released by a major U.S. fuel supplier, this administration has done and said nothing about it. It's like they ignore it. This report warned of a developing diesel fuel shortage that would primarily affect the southeastern portion of the United States. Now, folks, don't think that if you don't live in the southeast that it's not going to affect you. It's going to affect you. We'll get into that. Okay, so the supplier who gave the report is Mansfield Energy, and they say, quote, because conditions are rapidly devolving, and market economics are changing significantly each day, Mansfeld is moving to alert level four to address market volatility, they said in a statement. Folks, that's like DEFCON 1, okay? It continues. And listen to this because it's important. It says, quote, in many areas, actual fuel prices are currently 30 to 80 cents higher than the posted market average because supply is tight. Usually the low-rack posters can sell many loads of fuel before running out of supply. Now they only have one or two loads. That means fuel suppliers have to pull from higher-cost options at a time when low-high spreads are much wider than normal. At times, carriers are having to visit multiple terminals to find supply, which delays deliveries and strains local trucking capacity. Okay. They then added Mansfeld is also moving the southeast to code red, requesting 72-hour notice for deliveries when possible to ensure fuel and freight can be secured at economical levels. Okay, so what does all this mean to you? Here we go, folks. When we run out of diesel fuel, and it looks like we're going to because Biden's doing nothing, okay, nothing, it means that trucks can't run. They run on diesel. They're not going to run without diesel fuel. It means that trains won't run and barges won't run. Okay. These are the ways that products are moved from point A to point B. So in other words, the groceries that you purchase each week and the other things that you buy that get to the supermarket, they're brought to the supermarket by trucks, trains, and barges. It's that simple. If there's no more diesel fuel, then there's no more deliveries to the supermarket. That means there's no more food. And food is just one of the things, one of the many thousands of things that Americans purchase each and every week that will no longer be available. This is real. It's happening. A country's energy system is a national security issue, except for the Biden administration, apparently. And we have an administration that right now has caused this crisis, and they could give a damn about where it's leading. You know why? Because every one of these bastards, I can guarantee you, in this administration, they'll have a fabulous dinner each and every night. 
Mark my word, they don't give a damn about you. First of all, we know that Joe Biden pretty much attacked our energy sector on day one of his administration when he signed all those executive orders. They're trying to force us into a green energy system that just isn't ready yet, whether you wanted it or not. Did anybody vote for this? I don't think anybody voted for this. They're destroying our country. And if we run out of diesel fuel, mark my words, folks, the economy collapses. When the economy collapses, it means people starve. It means people freeze to death in the winter. It will happen so quickly, too, that your head will spin. The story goes on. Quote, Maryland, Virginia, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, and South Carolina were listed as some of the states that would be immediately hit by the shortage. That's an especially delicate situation given that many of those states serve as major hubs of trucking, farming, and industry, which all come to a grinding halt without diesel, which means that life as we know it stops. Okay. The Biden administration is saying, well, we have a million barrels coming here and a million here. Well, the experts say that a million barrels of diesel in the United States would last six and a half hours. So when they call, oh, we have two million, it's 13 hours, folks. Little over half a day, okay? Our worst enemies could not have done what the Biden administration has done to take our country down. Energy in this country is what makes America so great. It's why our lifestyle is better than most. Cheap energy is the way to build up strength in a society. Joe Biden and his pinheads in the administration have destroyed that. Some of those states also experience harsh winters, and the demand for diesel, home heating oil, and other fuels will be much higher than normal. Without ample supplies of diesel fuel, things will rapidly become ugly for tens of millions of Americans. I guarantee some of you who are watching you will be in that category. The fuel company seemingly avoided politics in its statements, but cited, quote, historically low diesel inventories as part of the problem. It goes on. Poor pipeline shipping economics and historically low diesel inventories are combining to cause shortages in various markets throughout the Southeast, the company said. These have been occurring sporadically with areas like Tennessee seeing particularly acute challenges. Folks, I'm not trying to frighten people with doom and gloom messages here, but I just want to get the point across that elections have consequences. And you think about it, all you political people on the left, okay? You think about it, yeah, you, you got the election, you won the election, but look what's happening right now, okay? Look what's happening. We're, we're about to collapse. Most Americans know that this situation, like the other crisis created on Biden's watch, is a result of the administration's dangerous, it, it's their, their dangerous, reckless decision-making. In this case, the Biden administration's unwillingness to tap America's vast and great energy supplies and the banning of pipelines, fossil fuels, and refineries. I don't give you all their bullshine about, uh, well, there's 9,000 leases out there. Don't listen to them. They're doing it. It's intentional. At the end of October, here's where America stands on President Biden's watch heading into winter. There's seven items they have. Number one, nationwide and regional diesel fuel shortages threaten every industry. Two, home heating oil shortages and rationing in the Northeast. Three, gas prices continue to climb. You think that they're going to stay below $4? He's, Biden has been using the Strategic Petroleum Reserve which is supposed to be held for the military in time of war, okay? He has been using that to artificially lower the price of gasoline right after the midterms, no matter who takes over Congress, okay? They're going to go up again. You're going to see them continue to climb. Four, inflation remains at record highs with no sign of stopping. Five, home sales hit record lows, priming a new housing crisis. Today, that 0.75 basis went up again. Record high crime, number six. Record high crime could exponentially worsen as Americans fight over available supplies of fuel, food, etc. You're going to see hungry people fight over food. You're going to see it, okay? They say it takes about 
48 to 72 hours for chaos to ensue when people run out of food. Number seven, possible railroad strike, which would also cripple the U.S. economy overnight. Now, regardless of what the morons and the misinformation fake news media tell us, this is not a joke. All is not fine, folks. These are not conspiracy theories. These are facts and plausible situations that on an individual level are bad enough, but combined will be nothing less than catastrophic for everyone. You have a chance to begin to fix this chaos and this disaster by voting on November 8th and choosing candidates who are capable of cleaning up the mess created by the Democrats. I swear to God, I hope you choose wisely. That's it. Thanks for being here. We will see you in the next one. Thank you.